Another mailbag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packages. I think that's uh, I think that's what I had last time. All right, let's see what we got. This is a I don't know. Doesn't say. Just a little lick. These are looks like opto some kind of opto isolators and some kind of diodes or zeners or shock keys either shock keys or diodes. I think they're shock keys or zeners. I would have and I think these are opto isolators. Uh, PC817C, 10 pieces, SS14. So that's some more, more SMD stuff. This says uh, tools. Uh, these are diamond tweezers. Hey, when they put stickers on stuff. Oh, these are real nice. They're like six inches long though. But they have this locking. They got these tight grips. They're actually textured. They have a lock. So I guess the idea is that you can use them to hold stuff. And, uh, I don't know how tight it'll hold, but tight enough, I guess. I don't know if it's big enough to hold things on a board. Yeah, it might be, because it's really long. You might be able to hold components while you're soldering. These are really nice. I like them. You can use them as regular tweezers too. Hmm. Very light. There might be titanium. They don't sound like... Well that piece doesn't sound like it, but... These kind of feel like they might be. I don't remember. I'll have to look. For the price I paid, I doubt they are. Put that back on there. Should I put that back in the case too? So, jewelers clamping uh, or locking. Jewelers or diamond tweezers, I see them called a lot. Or gem gem tweezers or whatever. Air valve. So this is a tiny little air valve. It's a, basically a solenoid. It's a solenoid. with some kind of diverter valve, air diverter valve on it. So, you can see... It's got an inlet. I thought I got the three-way. I guess I didn't. Hmm. I thought this was a three-way. Uh, well, maybe it is. Yeah, maybe it is. I think there's an inlet. 
an outlet. When you engage the solenoid, it switches from one to one blocks, one opens up. So I thought this would be neat to use for controlling. A vacuum or a dispenser for solder paste or for pickup. Not sure if it's going to be strong enough, but these are cheap, so I, I don't know what they used for. Although they, may, they must be used for something because there was a whole bunch of them on there. They're really small, though. It's probably not enough airflow. For anything useful. Don't know. Unknown. Plastic case. With the clasp. Figure it's be good for just putting stuff in. Well, it's good, it fits us in the strips. So I mean that worked out pretty well for these would be good for shipping a product in or just for dropping parts in that you have sitting around. It looks really good. It's just a really cheap case. I think I've got a couple cases to evaluate uh, to see if I want to stock them for, for different things. Find the ideal solution for storing different size stuff. It would probably make a good project box if you want to just quickly prototype something. You could see it. WX3663. WX663. No idea. Oh, some more weird stuff. Uh, this is. I think this is for. Blackheads or something. But I thought it was a cool little tool because it has these little loops. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to be able to So I thought it'd be neat to maybe or useful. Well, that's too small. To use it to hold wires. Probably gonna cut the wire, but like, just maybe to hold a wire in a helping hand or something that <laughs> that cut right through the wire. That's not what I was looking for. Oops. This side is what I was looking for because this side's uh, not sharp. Of course, that wire doesn't fit in there. Let's try this. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work. It's going to pinch any wire you put in there and ruin it. Well, whatever. Maybe I could use it for holding a screw. Um, holding a screw. If you need to screw in somewhere, you know. really room to get in there. You know, so you put the screw in there. You can hold it while you start it and then take it off. I don't know. <laughs> I've probably never use it, but I thought it was kinda cool. Another little weird tool to add to my weird tool list. What is this? This is a elec again. Another elec. Probably components. 
Yep. These are. Uh, these are diodes. These are Zener diodes because they have voltages on them. 6.3 volts, 10 pieces. So those must be shockies. And uh, I don't know, W8323, 50 pieces. All right, so I got a bunch of bunch more SMD stuff. That's right, my kit. Gold testing needle. Oh, these are probably pogos, I bet. Oh my god, they're tiny. Why are they so small? <laughs> oh, those are the smallest things I've ever seen. Why are they such small? Oh, I need to pay attention when I order stuff. I didn't know they made them this small. I thought they were all made to interface with large pads. Not. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to get tweezers for this. Well, let's try these guys out. God, they're huge. They work really good though. These are really neat. You'd have to make a jig with these. You couldn't use these for anything. You couldn't put these on a probe. They're tiny, can you even see that? These are so small. I didn't know they were this small. I'll have to get some bigger ones that I can actually work with. Look at that. Oh no, there's a hole. Oh shoot. Oh, the tiniest thing, and it's got a hole in it. I just lost like four of them, I think. I'll probably just vacuum them up and get them out of the vacuum. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in here too. God, look how small they are. They're like little needles. They're so small. I can't get over that. How do you manufacture something that small? Where's the hole? I don't see the hole, but they all fell out. Somewhere. Oh, right there in the corner. These are nice. I like these tweezers because they're really big. Sometimes you want big tweezers, not small ones. That's that. Uh, it doesn't say what size they are. I'll have to look and see. <laughs> They are ultra tiny, that's what size they are. It says battery. Battery. Oh, battery holders. These are through hole. Battery hole, coin cell holders. I don't have anything to hold coin cells for any, if I want to do a battery project or a badge or a small, you know, throwy or portable humidity temperature sensor. Um, I got these so I don't have to hack something together to hold a CR2032 battery. I got uh, five of them. So that's another thing that this could take. This case might be good for stuff like that, where it's got sharp, sharp pegs sticking out, and you don't want to put them in bags or mix them with other things because they get stuck together. Sensor module. Pieces of, they look like some kind of humidity or pressure sensors. 
pressure sensors, I think. It's probably like a BM sensor. It says GYB. She doesn't even know what that says. GYB11. GYB one one E slash P two eighty. Two of those, whatever they are. <laughs> I think they are temperature humidity sensors, but the uh their I squared C BM series. Probably the cheaper ones, not the good ones. These were very cheap. I didn't want to pay for the for the nice ones. Just because I'm just gonna play with them. I'm not gonna use them for anything specific. So that's it. Till next time.